night, we are learning more about two teenagers who died in a murder-suicide in Broken Arrow. We told you about this on Sunday afternoon at a house near 111th and Aspen. 2 News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer followed up with police today and has more information. As Gary Crittenden does his normal Monday routine, he can't help but think about the reserved but very nice 14 and 17 year old siblings who lived at this home. He says the 17 year old boy often played basketball on the street. And he played out here when it was warm. He was constantly out here doing this. And he's pretty darn good, too, I've got to say. I spoke with the next door neighbor, and he tells me, don't blame the parents in this. He says they were good people along with their children, and it's apparent with all the flowers and gifts people are dropping off at their house today. Crittenden tells me he lost a child in the 90s due to a drunk driver. One would be bad, as I know. Two would be terrible. You know, I just, I can't for the life of me imagine that. I spoke with Captain Josh McCoy. He says the siblings went to Broken Arrow Public Schools. They believe the boy killed his sister and then himself. Captain McCoy says their parents were home at the time, but don't know where they were in relation to the incident. Have you guys ever responded to that house for anything? We have no history at that residence. Uh, it's a quiet neighborhood. Um, you know, the home itself, uh, there's a strong family element there. Crittenden says he was inside his home at the time too, but didn't hear anything other than first responders afterward. At one time I counted out there and there was 15. So I thought, wow, there's something, something gone wrong. Captain McCoy says they're waiting on the state medical examiner's office to figure out what caused the deaths. Even though, as Crittenden believes, no one will truly know what possessed it. You can't figure that out about through an autopsy. In Broken Arrow, Justin Air, 2 News, Oklahoma. There were counselors and school resource officers at Broken Arrow schools today for the grieving students and faculty.